Hi there, today we're going to show you how to set up your Android device as a PSP gaming console. So first of all, you need an Android device, anything, even a mobile or uh, a tablet. So in this case, we've got a mobile. So what do we do? So go to Play Store and then type in PSP emulator. Okay, so which uh, PSP emulator are we looking for? The fourth one down with this sort of symbol. This symbol and by that company. Just that one there. Okay, so install that. Okay, let's start up the app then. The, the icons there, PSP. So click play. Then we'll connect a PlayStation controller. Okay, so we've got a controller here. This is for um, a PlayStation 3. So you need a USB connector from mini USB to USB. So this is dependent on your device. So if it has a mini USB connector on there, then obviously one end has to be mini USB and the other one has to be USB. And the PlayStation itself, um, the PlayStation controller, it's got a USB charging cable, so that goes into one end of the adapter and the other end would go into your actual Android device. So that's the point where you normally charge it. So okay. hold on to the PS button for five seconds. And what will that do? It will activate it so it responds with the Android device. Okay. So then, now we want to do it. So you can control your games using the PlayStation controller. So if you go into settings, controls, control mapping, and it will show all these different settings. Oh, so those are the actual keys on your uh, PlayStation uh, remote. Yeah, and yeah. not all of them are needed, so we'll start doing them. So if you go D-pad up. Oh, so you've got to program each one at a time. Yeah. Okay. So you're just doing the basics? Yeah. Does it not automatically do any of this? Well it does, I think, when you start it up. But in this case it's not there, right? Yeah. If you click clear all, it will delete all of them. And that's all you need to do. Okay, so what's the next stage? So we'll go back and now we need to install some games off using the computer. Okay. Okay, the next stage is to get to your computer and then go to Google and then what? So when you're at Google type in PSP ROMs. So PSP okay. ROMs, okay. And it's the first website, yeah? PSP yep. ISOs MU Paradise. Okay, so I guess this shows all the games that are available to download, right? Yeah. So all in alphabetical order? Yeah, or you could just click list all titles and it shows you every game. Wow, okay, so slowly scroll down. Let's get an idea of what, how many games you can pull off this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And if you see the scroll bar up here, it will just show you where you are. There's, there's loads. Okay, let's just pick a random one. So we'll just pick um, Ben 10. Okay. Download that. So once you're here, press download links. That should be the one at the top. Okay, hang on, scroll up a little bit. It's just add. Direct download links. Okay, so you just download that. That's quite a big file, isn't it? Nearly 700 meg, so, okay. And just hit down. Okay, just save. Okay, so the file's downloaded. Now, if we go to our download folder, 
Yep, and it's just there. So Ben 10 Alien Force USA PSP. Okay, so we're just opening up in WinRAR. So, so extract it's a, the file. So it's a dot .rar file, just to note that. Okay, so it's just compressed. So if you go into that one yet, the one you've just done. Okay. Scroll so down until you find one that says dot .rar. Okay. Click that. And should have the ISO file and do it. Right. Extract that. Okay. Wow, so this, this says it all really. The, the file's pretty big. So if you're going to put this on your device, make sure you've got ample storage. So that's one gig, just 1.3 gigabytes. Okay, so there's your ISO. The next thing to do? Plug in your phone and copy it onto your phone. Okay, so now we have the ISO which is just here, what we're going to do, we're going to actually transfer it onto the um, Android device. So the first thing you need to do is get your cable, which will probably be a USB cable, and uh, connect that straight to your laptop or computer that you're using to do this. So if we plug that in. Okay, now we can see the storage on the actual Android device. So you can see the card and actually the phone storage as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the card storage and we've already created a folder on there called ROMs. And then what we do, we just create a folder to actually hold the ISO, which we've got there. And we're just gonna copy the ISO across like so. So we'll leave that running. Okay, so the copy's completed. So what we'll do, we'll disconnect the USB cable. And then we'll show you how to get the game working. Okay, so we've disconnected the USB and now let's try and run this game so this ISO we've downloaded on the Android device. Okay, so let's start up the emulator. Okay, hit play. That was another advert, there was a couple of adverts. So let's position the device. So how do you actually find the ISO? So go on to games. Okay. And, and you just navigate to the location, is it? Yeah, so this is the ROMs file we created earlier. Yeah, and then Ben 10 file, and the game, ISO file. Now, the good way, sorry, the good thing about this emulator itself, it's actually got all the PlayStation controls on the display. So, like all these options, I don't know if you can see, you should be able to see, yep, yeah, moving the joystick just there, and obviously the other buttons there. So you can do it straight off the screen, and you don't need a controller. I guess the controller is just a nicety to have. So let's let the game start and just briefly show you. Can we skip all this? Okay, hit start. And there you go. You're playing a PSP game on your Android device. So, the controls are there, as you can see. Yeah, so next thing is, um, let's just show with the controller plugged in. So let me zoom out. And we'll just connect the USB adapter straight in there. And then you hold on to the PlayStation button for five seconds, and there you go. That's one way of playing it. And obviously the other way would be if we cast it straight onto a Chromecast. So do you want to cast it? Go home. Need to get the Google Home app. To okay. connect to your Chromecast. Let's 
positioned there. And there you go. Okay. So there you go. How to turn your Android device into a PSP gaming console with two options obviously one to be able to play it straight off your device and if you have a Chromecast or a smart TV where you can do casting you can cast it straight onto the device and there you go hope that this has helped anyone thinking of doing a similar thing and thanks for viewing <laughs>